Hey guys, it's Janaya. Today we're going to be doing a zebra print tutorial on my pinky. I'm not did like a little um, model yet, but you, you guys will just have to watch the video to actually see what it looks like. So we're going to be using our, we're going to be needing your Salon Express. This is the, you're going to need your Salon Express stamper, double sided stamper. How are we going to be using this side today? The big side. You're going to need your, you're also going to need your edge plate. Yay! But today we're going to be using plate. Um, hmm, what is this? SC22, and we're going to be doing this in the book print approach or sector print, whatever you want to call it. So that's what you're going to need. Also, going to need handy some non acetone nail polish remover, or you can just use regular nail polish remover. But in my experience, regular nail polish remover can still stain your nails and harm your nails and all that. So I use my acetone nail polish remover. But as you can see, it says no non it says no acetone whatsoever in the in the ingredients. But in the regular nail polish remover, it says acetone. The first thing it says on the ingredients. See, I stamped this a few times on my checkerboard. I really like the, the checkerboard. You can look for that video too. So we're gonna take. And I actually am in a better setting, so that's really good. So you're gonna take the SC22. But first, you want to make sure your nail is nice and clean with some nail polish. I actually have not finished cleaning off my nails, so I'm actually going to do that right now on camera. So I'm just going to find my pointy Q-tips. I don't really care if they're dirty. Sometimes I like to use them again because they're not, they don't, it's not dirty, like, very much. So just dunk your Q-tip into your non to nail polish remover or regular nail polish remover. The, I like the pointy side. I'm just going to use it to, like, here. To like um there we go you can see it better kind of like clean up your nail and so just clean up make sure everything is nice and cleaned off like so and so after you're done with the non acetone nail house remover or the nail house remover now you want to just apply a base coat from to prevent your nails from staining i got this base coat from ulta which is my favorite beauty store i mean i've only bought this from ulta this is the only thing i have from ulta but i just really like them so yeah this was six dollars at ulta i mean i mean it's not a bad price you get 33 fluid ounces which isn't bad Compared to like, I don't know, other things, other mini base coats you get that's like ten dollars. But this is a really good price, I think. This is from Ulta, so and then it just says like base coat. Yeah. So it's gonna apply it. This time I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that on screen. You got some base coat on your nail. Actually. Here and sorry about that shadow, guys. Just the webcam and apply it onto your nail. You want to do a kind of thin coat because you're going to be packing some layers of nail polish on there about like four plus the top coat. No, about two plus no, three. Sorry, three plus the top coat, which is four. So I was right the first time. And so you don't we want to make sure you have a nice thin coat of a base coat and also with your stamping polish. My stamping polish that I am using today is just going to be this Wet n Wild Fast Dry and this is in Ebony Hates Chris. If you guys can see this, click so sorry guys because I think you can see that. Can you see this? I'm trying to. Oh no, I, I just made it worse. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like focus. Oops, I just messed up my base coat. I'm trying to focus this camera here. All right, there we go. This is Wet and Wild, Wild Shine, in Ebony Hates Chris. There we go. Got to focus. That's good. So after your your base coat dries, which mine has. 
the way now. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my black. You can actually do a white, a white um, base, but I just wanted to see the kind of effect. Yeah, I actually think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the white effect today. I'm gonna use my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear, and this is in um, white on. White on. So. This one coat of this dry is actually really quick, even though it's not like a fast dry. And you can see it starts to get. Sorry, guys. Just looking at something. Kind of a little distracted there. It starts to get pretty darn thick. I keep saying darn for some reason. I don't know why. But it starts to get thick. So, and it takes a long time to, 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 um, to dry. So, you don't want that to happen. So, just. Apply a nice thin, I repeat, thin layer of white polish because one, one coat is really good enough for these polishes because it's really nice and opaque and all those nice words that go with it, which I don't know, vibrant. I tend to paint very messy. That's why I always have, I try to get my nails p perfect as possible, most perfect as possible. <clears throat> oh, excuse me as perfect as possible and it's looking horrible and you guys probably cannot see a thing there we go I just put my nail in nail polish that's nice oh, I just messed it up crap 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 I'm messing up everything aren't I all right so there we go there's your white my layer is a little bit on the thick side, but that is okay. Because it only needs to dry. So just let that dry. I'm actually going to go ahead and clean it up on screen. So you guys can see how I do it. How I do it. So, okay. So, sorry. That was a little weird. I'm going to take a pointy Q-tip and just clean up the white edges. And you want to make sure that you don't accidentally touch your nail like I just did, which I have to go back once it dries and do it. And do it over. That's what I meant. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the take another Q-tip because this ain't working out. Alright, go ahead. Clean on Q-tip if you guys can actually see that. Clean your Q-tip. Now polish. over both sides mm -hmm. I actually like the fat end to clean up around my edges it's you don't know it just seems like it works a lot better for some reason but you know you guys if you guys get these cute tips it's up to you how you like to clean them side of your nails you don't even have to I just like the cleaner effect because that I tend to tend to get around on my nails a lot so yeah clean that up polish it again if you need to and there is your beautiful perfect looking white and that's not perfect okay okay a little oh i just messed it up again what the? this is really getting on my nerves i hate messing up on camera i really do on webcam whatever so I'm not gonna move until this dries. Turn the fan on, that's it. With the other hand. So you wanna wait for your white for your white nail to dry like so. And I will be right back. Goodbye. Alright guys, I'm back and now my nail has dried fully. Sorry if you cannot see once again. Put some tissue down. I recommend it. Take your plate and your placeholder. I'm so sorry, you guys. If you can't see, I'm trying to get the best position um, that I can, but it's just so hard. Alright, let's see. This helps. Well, I guess it helps. I guess it'll help. It'll work. That'll do. Just play, then 
in the video part right there on our pinky. And it's not going to be black. Well, I was going to use my fast dry, but this turns out like almost a bit gray all the time. I'm going to use my, wet, my other white and wild. This is not the fast dry. This is in black cream. And it's stamps like a regular black. Sorry if you hear this big bang noise, but I'm going to just pound this down really quick. Like, there's like nothing at the top. I mean, yeah, at the top. I had to pound some of that black nail polish at the bottom. And you see, there. Oops, I applied it on the checkerboard. No. Take my scrape bag. Just gonna scrape this other way. Okay. And scrape. I applied way too much. I don't think it's gonna stamp really. And like I said, it did. I'll be right back, guys. I applied way too much polish, and it's not working. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to clean it off. So let's take a Q-tip, clean off the image. I'm not gonna put it under a napkin. I just have this old towel, a bunch of nail polish all over it. Dry it. Now take your black polish. Make sure your stamper is nice and cleaned off. Apply your black polish onto your image. Take your scraper and scrape off. Scrape again for no shears, for no smears. Stamp. It didn't stamp. Not all the way. Sorry guys, it's just not working out for me. I just tried it when it was paused when the webcam when I paused the webcam and it worked way way much better. But it's not working right now, so let's try it again one more time. Okay. Let's try this. Apply the black polish. Scrape. Stamp. And it's stamped. Woo! Okay. And roll it on to our nail. Woo. Sorry, guys. And there's your zebra print. You can kind of pet it down a little. And so, if you can see that, and you can see that I've kind of missed a little part over there. You can just go back and fill that in with the small part. And that's what I'm going to actually go ahead and do. You kind of want to always want to match it up. So, you apply the back polish again. You do not have to apply it to the full image this time, but I just like to. You stamp. Something like that, and I'm just gonna try to match it up. I didn't really miss that much, actually. And just try to get a few strings back in there. You don't really want to try. You want to try not to overlap them, because it does not look that good once you overlap them. So. So can go back and clean up and fix that zebra print. And so that is a zebra print. After this, you can just apply um your top coat. I can find mine. Yeah, my top coat. For my top coat. I'm going to be using my um Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat and clearly quick. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on camera as soon as this dries all the way. And so I'm just going to let that dry. I know it dries instantly, but I just want to give it a, couple, a few minutes for, so that you know that it's dry. And so there's your zebra print. And so I bring it back. All right, guys, my nail has dried all the way. I'm going to take your pop coat. Move the camera in a little more so you guys can see this all the way. Go. Top coat. Kind of want to get like one or one or two like stripes down your nail. So take your nail, get one, and then there's two. And so 
There we go. There is your zebra print. No smear. No smear. No smear. And it adds some beautiful shine, and that's it. So that's it for your zebra print tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial, and stay tuned. Comment, and you can do send um comment any requests. Say you guys would like me to do with my salon express. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you later.